From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out the difference between a US and a UK KFC. This is Food Wars. Now you can't actually get a small drink at a UK KFC. It starts at regular. This is what a regular drink looks like. This is what a US regular looks like. And this is what a large drink looks like. And this is what a US large looks like. This is a regular fries, and this is a large fries. Here's the US regular, right? You wanna go the next size up. This is the US large. Gush! Look at how big that is. It's like five of those ones that he had. Let's find out how much a large fries weighs in the UK. Let's weigh our large fry. Oh man, oh ho 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 ho! <laughs> They're packed in there, dude! Look at that. Is that everything? This is what a regular popcorn chicken looks like. We have a large popcorn chicken. And this is what a large popcorn chicken looks like. And if you want to go even larger than the large, get yourself a popcorn chicken box. Something for you and your buddies, I'm sure. Not eating this by yourself. Did I lose any? No, no way. Am I doing this without? Oh, don't jinx it. Yeah. Uh, oh! Nope. Yep. And, oh, uh, yep. Is that all of them? That's all. Um. In the UK, you can get buckets in three sizes. You can get a six piece, you can get a 10 piece, or you can get a 14 piece. Eight piece. Whoa. Twelve piece. This is. Just, I'm not gonna. I can't even dump it. Yo. Look how much chicken this is. Oh my god, what a mess. Unfortunately, KFC in the UK doesn't disclose its ingredients, but what we do know is calories. For example, in the UK, a drum is 170 calories. And in the US, one of these guys for the original recipe is 130 calories. But if you get extra crispy, like this guy right here, it's actually 170. USA is actually still winning on calories. That's largely thanks to the sides and the drinks. If you were to walk into a UK KFC, and order a three-piece meal and they gave you a drum, a thigh, and a wing with a large fries and a large Pepsi, that would come to 1,155 calories. Our large fry is 930 calories and our large drink is 380. And if you were to order a three-piece with a large fry and a large drink in the US, it would be roughly this many calories. The KFC in the US has released its ingredients list. I would like to go over the ingredients of the french fries at the KFC in the US. All right, here we go. Sea salt, monosodium glutinamate, maltodextrin, salt, dextrose, vegetable powders, tricalcium phosphate, hydrolyzed soy proteins, spices, soybean oil, natural flavors, potassium chloride, paprika extract, color, turmeric extract, color, potatoes, obviously, vegetable oil. It has soybean oil, canola, cottonseed, and or sunflower. Uh, beached, beached. Bleached wheat flour, and it contains 2% or less of rice flour. Durham wheat, whoa. Simolina? Simolina. 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 Durham wheat simolia. Simolina. I don't know what that word is. It looks like it's easy, but it's hard to say. Simolina? Simolina? Durham wheat simolina. There you go. Dextrin, salt, degermed yellow cornmeal. Oh, thank God it's been degermed. Cornstarch, leavings, sodium acid pyrophosphate, sodium bicarbonate, dextrose, again. Xanthan gum, there he is. Anato extract color, disodium dihydrox, disodium dihydrogen pyrophosphate, in parentheses, to maintain color. Okay, 
we add so many chemicals to our fries, we add more chemicals to make it look like it doesn't have any chemicals. Thank you, the sodium dehydrate, dehydrate. Oh, what the f Yeah, whatever. Here are some things you can only find on the menu at a UK KFC. So instead of a chicken sandwich, what we call ours is the chicken fillet burger. I think it's pretty much the same thing. It's like breaded and fried chicken between two buns with some lettuce and some mayonnaise. We also have something called the Zinger Burger, which is pretty much the same thing, but the spice level is amped up a little bit. You can also turn these burgers into a tower burger. What that does is adds cheese and a hash brown to the burger, which in my opinion, very worthwhile addition. We have some stuff on our KFC they can't get in the UK, and surprisingly some things I thought were like kind of like paramount to the KFC menu. Mashed potatoes and gravy. This to me seems like something that has just always been part of KFC along with the chicken. Look at this mashed potatoes, man. It's a tub of mashed potatoes. Okay, let's make a mess. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Put that on the cover of Gravy Aficionado magazine. Another thing I didn't realize you guys don't have, biscuits, or as you call them, scones. This is called the Famous Bowl. It is mashed potatoes and gravy and corn, topped with popcorn chicken, topped with cheese, all in one bowl. Uh, yeah, this thing, I don't think I've ever had one of these, because it looks ridiculous. Now, Joe, I'm glad you also think that the Famous Bowl doesn't look that great, because to me, that looks like a nightmare. Now, we have a slightly different approach to sides in the UK compared to the US. For example, our corn comes on the cob, baked beans. These are slightly different to the regular beans that you might put on toast in the UK. Uh, they have kind of a barbecue sauce flavor to them. There's a few other language differences, like instead of chicken tenders, we call ours chicken mini fillets. Mini fillets, chicken tenders, they look exactly the same. We got those. Yes, they have corn, but we have ours off the cob, which I think is um, not as good as on the cob. This pile right here, and I know, they do have wings at KFC in the UK, yes I know, but only in the US can you order them by 48. <laughs> 48 wings. I'm dying right now, man. You smell so good. The pot pie, when I saw pot pie in the menu, I was like, yeah, a little side pot pie. No, dude, this thing, he's like a, like a puppy. This thing has kind of got some weight to it. I gotta say the pot pie actually looks quite good. We love meat pies here in the UK. You'll often see people tucking into like a steak and kidney pie or a chicken pie, but yeah, they should probably put that on the menu over here. I think they'd cash in on the British market. Let's talk sauces, it's sauce talk. Sauce talk. I think that uh, these sauces are also specific only to the US and not the UK. The KFC finger looking good sauce, see that? We also have the summertime barbecue sauce, uh, honey mustard, and of course, buttermilk ranch. There are a few sauces which are exclusive to the UK. For example, we have this spicy supercharger dip, which is kind of like a spicy mayo type thing. We have some sweet chili sauce. Garlic mayonnaise, another really good option. Garlic mayo on chips is just fantastic. Why don't we have those sauces here? Oh man, I want those. Now usually we'd have even more exclusive menu items to show you, but unfortunately UK KFC is currently operating with a reduced menu. Here's what you could normally find on the menu at a UK KFC. A vegan burger, the Big Daddy burger, a range of chicken wraps, some rice boxes, onion rings, curry sauce, crushums, and a full range of hot drinks, including English breakfast tea. At the UK, you can get teas, including uh, English breakfast tea. Now, technically, you can't get tea at the KFCs in the US, but you can get something called Mountain Dew Sweet Lightning, which I think it's probably pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty much exactly the same as a breakfast tea. Dude, 